prologue so there will be some separation so there will be no bottlenecking during the, the long form race that's on april 6th but after this you know there is a, a pretty significant climb uh that we did not do the loop of for the short track but it is in the race so this first part you know you're climbing uh there are you know a few rocks that you have to navigate and then you get to the top and then you bog down this really fast, flowy, rocky descent.
gradual climbs, you have a long steep climbs, you have a long techy climbs, uh, you even have climbs that you're able to maintain your momentum from a descent. It has it all. entrance to the woods from the start of this video you start descending and this is a really fun descent rocky but it flows uh, it's great you know you have to pick good lines but you can still gain a lot of speed I really really like this section once you get through um, this flowy descent um, there is kind of a technical section where you have to kind of, there is a really tight, tight trail uh, that, you know, it's kind of man-made kind of situation, you know, the rocks there uh, stacked up that you have to, to kind of navigate um, here, another section, and then you start to shoot up the hill. Now, last year it rained before the race, so I remember to stay right and tight uh, to go up um, because you get into uh, the sloshy mud on the left, so you're going to want to stay to the right. It's kind of hard to get to that line early on, but once if you're able to stay on that line, you, you know, you're, you're really you're able to, uh, to get going. Um, this climb is, you know, pretty technical, rocky. Um, but then, you know, then it flattens out. Um, I'm going to do my best to try not to bore you with climbs. Um, I did speed them up significantly because, you know, I'm slow. But this another section... Uh, it's rocky where, you know, man built lines and you have to hit those lines really well. Um, and then, you know, back into some fun descending. But one good thing about this part of the course is you are able to maintain speed in certain sections. All right. So here, you know, big climb, one of the bigger climbs of the of the course. So I did two times speed. It's not technical or anything. So there's no real lines that you have to really pay attention to. It's all just about your power. Uh, somewhat steep. Um, you know, you, you might want to stay seated so uh, you're not um, spinning out. But, you know, you definitely have to uh, put down some power on the pedals to get up. And then you're going down into a descent. Um, you know, once again, there are some fun rocky sections where you have to choose your lines uh, wisely, but you can really get some speed. It's a little off camber back in that section. So, you know, just make sure that you're, you're staying higher. I did kind of slide down off the, off the line a little bit. And then again, another big climb. Uh, this one's a, you know, a little more rocky, um, and you do have to kind of pay attention to lines, but, you know, I sped it up so you're not bored with, you know, me being slow and struggling and breathing. You know, once you get up here, you know, you do switch back to the left. Um, we'll get there. <laughs> so, yeah, so you go to the left here and then you start a slight descent again. Now, this is, you know, pretty wide trail. Um, you know, you feel like it's going to open up. 
then you know you 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 hang to the right here and you're back to another big climb you know this course was about two miles and i got like 400 feet of climbing on one lap So you get to here and it opens up again, you know, wider, you know, wider trail, almost, almost like a, an ATV trail, but it is still somewhat rocky. And then from here you shoot down into the woods and again, another fun, rocky descent. There's a little drop there. You can huck over it. Now, this descent's pretty gnarly. But there's a pretty defined line. You, you know, you need to hit the line. There's not a lot of line choices. You know, you can you can see it and you need to hit it. Here is pretty tough. You really need to throw yourself up over this. Uh, it's kind of loose rocks stacked up. And then you go back and up and over. And then you hit this descent again. Now this is like kind of technical flat riding. You gotta, you know, choose your, your lines wisely there. Um, that was a pretty wet section. Uh, then you shoot up this hill, you know, again, you lose your momentum. You know, there's a couple of these climbs where you can't carry your speed into the climb. Um, this being one of them. Uh, you know, rocky sections, you know, definitely need to look ahead, pick your lines well. Again, you know, with this course, you get payoff. You know, if you if you are climbing up a hill, you do you do get some payoff going down. Um, you know, it's definitely something I was looking forward to throughout this whole short track race. But again, these are probably some of the longer climbs in the mass series. I mean, French Creek has a lot of long climbs. Um, but there's a lot more descending at French Creek, long, longer descents. Um, this, this one, you know, quite a bit of climbing. And again, when, you know, you get to the top here, it flattens out. You know, there's some flat trails. Then you get into this descent here, and it's pretty fast, you know, again, you know, there, it's not all rocky.
So I believe here, yeah, there's some cut pat, you know, some switchbacks. So you come up on here and then you start descending. And you do have some um, rocky sections that, that are coming up. Again, you know, you have a climb here, but you are able to carry your speed, so it's not too bad. And here's the rock, some, the rocky section start again. So here's the switchbacks I was talking about. They are it's very rocky through here, though. Um, you know, there there are pretty defined lines. You have to you know hit the the, the defined line. Um, There's the descent with switchbacks that are pretty, pretty fun. Really rocky sections. I guess I guess I thought they were more switchbacky than that, but. Um, You know, it just snakes its way through the woods. So then, you know, you're, you're looking, you know, this is a really wide descent, you know, again, it's almost like as if it were like a ATV trail. It's really wide. Um, you know, it's rocky, but, you know, there's a bunch of different lines that you can take. You don't have to stay on the main line. And here, this climb, you're able to maintain your speed through so um you know I, I was successful in this climb you know i um you know so i was able to pump up through it all the other climbs i literally felt like i had a bungee cord somebody was holding me back This was a, a sweet section here, drilled tight. You had to pick your your line wisely up and over. So at some point here, it breaks off and goes on to the other section of the trail. I'm not sure where, but this is where you know, the end of the race was, um, of the lap.
where this course breaks off to the back half of the trail for the full loop. Um, this is just what they were calling the, uh, the outer loop. Uh, but I will find out next week where that will be the third installment of the short track races. race I haven't decided on the, the, the rad sport um, forever farms um, uh, long form uh, XC race uh, I am preparing for rattling Creek so um, you know I've been just using this as a uh, like kind of a tune-up get get some technique my technical chops for the season you know get some uh, some intensity training in, uh, seeing where I'm at, climbing, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but I'm really just out there to have fun, film, uh, so I can make some videos, you know, just kind of have a good time. I'm not really competitive at all, you know, just don't get last place. Uh, but I do thank you for uh, sitting and watching this and uh, sitting through it all. And please, uh, I do ask... Uh, like, share, subscribe the video is really helpful. And I will see you at the next uh, short track race this Thursday.